Hi everyone, we are here today with the Niesman and Bishkoff iSmooth 6.9e. I am so excited about this one. Saw it at the show, absolutely fell in love with it, and then we've only gone and got our hands on one, so take a look around with me. So, as factory standard, this is a three and a half ton with a 650 kilogram payload. However, this has got um, the upgrade, so it's a four and a half ton now. It also has the nine speed automatic and it's the upgraded 180 brake horsepower, which as an extra is just under 9,000 pounds. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking a little look on the outside. As we walk down um, this side here, we've got the nice alloy wheels, which are lovely. As we walk further down, um, we've got actually the upgraded decals. So these are the carbon optic decals we've got here. And these are at an extra cost of 1,500 pounds which I think just makes it look so much better than if they were the normal decals. Also got little storage box here, electric step obviously. As we come further down, something actually to look at, no window in the door. How do you feel about that? Do you like it, do you not like it? Personally, I love it, but it's caused a bit of conversation in the office for sure. So as we come down, cupboard here for your two gas bottles, which is great. And then we have got the upgraded five meter awning. Something great about the ice move, really big, nice garage. Let's take a look in there. Also, something that comes as an extra is your external shower point. And something great, which is also an extra, is that we've got the dual access for the garage. So you've got doors on both sides, which is really helpful. Coming around to the back of the ice move, um, reversing camera, as you can see, nothing at the top where it would usually be. The reversing camera actually comes out of the badge here, which I think is a really nice touch, really classy. You haven't got a big bulky camera at the top. Also, it's the cloud line, which is the chrome here and also the chrome on the grill at the front. As I mentioned earlier, double access garage doors. So here is the garage door on this side. Coming down, we've got now, the iSmooth 6.9e has got a 200 litre fresh water tank, which for something of any motorhome is massive, but something of this size I think is amazing. So the motorhome is just under seven metres long, 2.4 metres wide. Um, so to have a 200 litre fresh water tank, great for off-grid living, you're gonna have no trouble carrying all of your, uh, your fresh water with you. But yeah, coming down, you've got another storage unit here, all of your um, sort of your electric hookup and that kind of thing and then that brings us back round to the front. Once inside, great twin singles at the back. Something good about this one is that it's got the extra cushion in the middle which again comes as an extra but it makes it into a massive double which is great. Um, nice that you've got the skylight, lots of natural light coming in during the day. Um, for something of this size, I think the storage is great. I think it doesn't take up too much room, um, so, this, so it doesn't impact the, the sort of ambience of the bedroom, which I think is great. Something else that's an extra is the upgraded petrol colour here at the back, which, if we use the control panel, is lit up really nicely when you get the lights on. So that's something really nice here. We've also got um, the thermostat for the heating, so we can control the heating from bed. So wake up in the morning, feeling a bit chilly, put the heating on. Coming down from the back bedroom, really easy to get onto, two nice little steps here. Something good to think about is that these both these steps actually lift up, got a really good amount of storage in there. Also, again, really nice touch which flows throughout the ice move is the lighting, just looks great there. Also, you've got a lift down storage space, both sides of the bed, so yeah, I think um, you're not going to be stuck for storage in here. Not a massive kitchen in the ice move, but in relation to the size of the motorhome, I think it's perfectly adequate. Um, on this version, we have got the premium kitchen pack, which includes the raising shelf. So to control the raising shelf, it's, there's just the control panel here. So that goes up um, and then it creates an extra shelf, which I think is really nice. Again, with the lights are great. So that's a nice little touch there. Plenty of storage space. Now, if you're thinking, where's the fridge? It hasn't got one. Well, it has. 
it's in here. It's a little bit different than what we used to as a fridge, but it's a 140 litre fridge, which is huge. Great restaurant quality, um, tubs in here as well, which I think is amazing. Also at the back, we've got a little freezer section. So plenty of room to keep all of our food and that kind of thing. Also, we can pull this out of the side. Chopping board, which acts as a cover for your sink, also goes in here to create that extra worktop space, which again, really nice. And then one last thing to sort of mention in the kitchen is um, with the hob and the cooker. So you've got the two ring hob, but this doesn't flip up. We have to pull it out. So on the pack, this is then classed as a chopping board. A little bit unsteady, if you ask me. Not sure how I'd feel about chopping things on there. Also, it's glass, it's gonna get scratched so easily. Let's pop that back in. Something else just to note about the kitchen area, we can actually lock the cupboards. So when we're traveling, again, on the control unit here, we just lock them can't open them they're not going to open when we're traveling so yeah impressions of the kitchen i think yeah it's great something that i do really like about the um the ice move is the sliding bathroom door i think when you haven't got loads of space i think the sliding door is just innovative really um it's not opening into the kitchen so if you're in here someone's in the kitchen you're not going to bother them wondering if you're going to hit them when you come out i think first impressions of the bathroom the styling is great it's not masculine, not feminine, would suit all. Really nice um, wooden top here, which is really lovely. Massive, massive mirror, which is great for doing your makeup and that kind of thing. Also, like for me doing my makeup in the mirror, great that you've got the skylight above you for the natural light coming in. Um, I think there's plenty of space in here, plenty of storage in here. Um, yeah, I think the bathroom is, um, is pretty good. On first um, glance at the bathroom, I was like, there's a shower head, but there's no room for a shower. But on further investigation, pull this little latch here, pull this across, and that then locks in here like that, creates a really big shower space. Um, so really nice that we've got the shower head here, but then if I go into the shower, I can also attach it up here to make it like a proper shower. Um, also, you've got the splash proof door, so you're not gonna get any leaks, you're not gonna get any water outside. It's quite small. I mean, I'm quite little um, and it is, it's not massive, but for something of this size, um, a motome of this size, I think the shower is, um, is adequate really. I think probably if you're like a six foot eight rugby player, you probably are going to struggle in here is the reality. But um, I think, yeah, it's, it's good for the size of the motome, definitely. Nice little touch. Everything in the Niesman and Bushkoff, um Ice Move is touchscreen. So as you can see here, got the control panel slide across to get your controls up. It controls everything, um, all of your lighting and the up and down shelves. Coming into the front of the ice move is your lounge area. Um, so the leather upgrade is another extra, but I think it's well worth it. I think you've got the longevity of the, uh, the fabric. So I think sort of spills marks are gonna wipe off dead easy. Um, also these back cushions are again, another 900 pound extra. So again, really nice touch. Something I really love in here is the acoustic gray paneling. I just think it looks so modern. I think it just looks great in here. Massive, massive telly, 32 inches there on a telly, which for a motorhome is, is wild. So yeah, great that you've got the big telly. Something not really a fan of is the table. Um, so this is an extra, so this is over £2,000 to get for your table, the slidey one. The normal one is a round table that comes here. Just something um, that we've sort of looked at when we've been looking at the motorhome is this table only comes out this way. So when you, the front seats are up like this, the table is really scrapey against the seats. And because you haven't got doors to get into the drivers and passengers, you have to come in through the this door here so you're having to come in come round and it is marking the chair a little bit there so i love this motorhome but that is something that i definitely um, think is a, is a negative with it just standing under the skylight in the habitation area can you believe it this was also an extra on um, this model of niesman and bischoff uh, the original one is half the size i think worth the, worth the money worth the upgrade let's loads of light in i think it's great 
So, as I spoke about earlier, habitation door hasn't got a window. Don't know how you feel about that. Like I said earlier, it's caused a lot of discussion in the office. Got the, again, another touchscreen control panel here. So everything is controlled here. Temperature, water, battery, electric, all of that kind of thing. You've got nice um, rail here. We've got the bin below. And then also something nice is the coat hooks that are on the door. Again, with the acoustic paneling, which looks great. Also got the anthracite grey ceiling, which I thought would make this look and feel small because normally if you put darker colours in, it's going to feel smaller. But this actually, it goes with the whole mood and vibe of the motorhome, so I really enjoy it. The Icemove 6.9e is the 4 berth 4 belt. The 4 belt is an upgrade that comes with your uh, comfort pack, so you've got your two extra seat belts here. You've obviously got two at the back with the twin singles, drop down bed. Um, something that people in the office really love is how slimline this bed is. It creates so much space in here. Um, but dead easy to pull down. Loads of room inside the bed. Um, nice memory foam mattress. One thing that we have noticed, there's not much light in here. And for saying the focus on the lights and the ambience and the rest of the motorhome home doesn't quite fit here. Um, I think they could have done with a few more lights um, in the corners, that kind of thing. But massive bed, massive space. Um, so I think, um, yeah, to be sleeping on here, I think it's plenty big enough for two. Come into the cab area. Nice, um, nice, really nice cab area. Massive window, again, really nice. Control panel here, which you can lock the cupboards with. The electric steps there also, the lights in the back, and then if you press this one, the blank comes down. This version of the Ice Move has got the winter pack, which includes the double glazed windows. I mean, what other most home are you going to get double glazed windows in? It's crazy. Some houses don't even have that. Um, coming across, like I said, control panel here, something else, um, wireless charger. So, iPad, phone, pop it in here. Also acts as a screen, so if you've got the passenger um, wants to watch a film, they can pop their iPad and um, tablet in here. It'll be charging and they can watch it at the same time. We've also got the multimedia pack, which um, is the screen here. So that's upgraded from seven inches to nine inches. So that is your, your camera, your sat nav, your radio, everything's on here. Like I said earlier, nine speed auto, which is great. Um, everything else is pretty standard, so steering wheel is pretty standard. Um, nice touch is that they've got the pullouts here, the storage, cups, notes, sweets, anything you want to put in there. That's really good that it's got that on both sides as well. The size of the cab is really good. Um, it's so comfy. Obviously, you've got the leather which comes back from the, uh, the dining area, so that runs all the way through with your leather, which is really nice. Again, loads of hidden storage, so you've got lots of little nooks and crannies here for all your different things, which again, for a motorhome of this size, is great. Um, yeah, overall, I think the cab area is really comfy, obviously massive windows, uh, which is really going to be really comfortable for travelling in. If you have got any questions on this motorhome or motorhome in general, pop a comment below, just put free guide and we'll send you a guide over with all things motorhome. Sorry about that, can't hear me, it's the double glazing. So, something, um, just one last thing that we have noticed is when we were in here earlier, didn't think it had the blinds on each side. We found them, so it definitely does. So it's gonna be really dark in here at night, which is uh, great. Um, opinions, I'm in love. I absolutely love everything about it. Exterior styling, interior styling. I love the size of it, I love everything about it. Would I buy one? Absolutely, I'd get one tomorrow if I could. From me, that's all. Comment, like, do whatever you want. From me, it's goodbye. See you soon.